Hey train friends, welcome back to another tour of a hobby store. This time we're at Hobby Lobby. We're gonna go inside and check out what they have inside that you can use for model railroading today on PGA's Train Fanatic. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go inside and check it out. Right, we're walking into Hobby Lobby. All right, so in Hobby Lobby, you can see there are a lot of different trees and scenery supplies you can get here. We'll go over and talk about some of them right now. Uh, let's start over here. You can see they have all kind of rocks and ballasts you can get. These are from JTT Scenery, so it's not like it's a, a Hobby Lobby exclusive brand. And you can see they have like rock pieces, ballast. They even have evergreen uh, polystyrene sheets and tubing. Those definitely come in handy. They even have um, precision metals. You can see like there's brass tubes and sheets that you can get there and then moving along over here you can see there's all kind of things as well there's there's like a um grassland uh, scenic mat there cattails corn stalks the corn stalks are actually really cool i bought these before and uh, i've used them on my layout and again these are like an jtt scenery products again it's not uh, exclusive to Hobby Lobby. You can see they even have a little lamppost for HO scale. That's pretty cool. And then these are um, Hobby Lobby brand figures. You can see there's like war figures and Native Americans and animals, people. They even have a little boat trip. They have uh, foliage clusters. I really like these. I actually may pick one of these up today. Those are nice, the wire foliage branches. You can see there's all kind of other things here. There's like foliage clusters, and shrubs, blended turfs. I've used these before. These are really cool. These are a, a cactus set that you can get. And uh, if you're doing a desert scenery, I used them in a little mini scene that I made. They're very cool as well. Palm trees, some fall scenery. It's like uh, boxwood plants, those are neat. Uh, different trees and things. You can see there's a bunch of different sizes. These, these large trees are really nice. Good deal for only 13 bucks to two big trees. You can get uh, three small trees there for $10. get like these like natural foliage looking trees very cool and then over here you can see they have grass mats a couple different sizes down below there's even some other things there's like some uh the uh i don't know if it's if you call it lichen or lichen i don't know i call it lichen i guess that stuff comes in handy for sure you can see there's some other um grass mats there late summer some uh the wheat is really cool if you're doing like a a fall scene oh look at that there's like dried corn stalks those are cool i've never seen those before very neat and i like the hay bales too the hay bales are really cool definitely neat and you can see they even have a couple of train sets here like an n scale set up there and a bachman ho scale train set and then you can even get some of their extra add-on pieces of track and switches and things. Very cool. And also, can't leave out the Thomas, the train stuff, and the play tables. So there you go, there's some train things for sure. Let's check out what else they have. I wanted to show these real quick too. They have like a realistic resin water, glue, blended turfs, and an even a um, tree and landscape kit, which is pretty cool. And then a mountain and landscape kit as well. So here's a bin in the middle of the store that has a whole bunch of foam sheets. 
and these are the hard foam sheets and you could use these for a bunch of different things uh, like the black ones you could use for roads if you really wanted to although these don't bend you have to cut them the size and there's these thicker white ones like that and then over here there's even larger sheets you could buy like a really large sheet if you really wanted to uh, the small ones you can see the black ones are $2.99 which is actually a really good price because I think the Elmer's ones in this size are like $5.99 so these are definitely a better deal for sure the hard foam board like this can be used for so many scratch building projects. I used it here in my blast furnace and also on the retaining walls by the river's edge and the coal bin. And then in this scene, there's a diesel shed that has this structure also made out of foam board and a coal mine tipple that I used some foam board to build that structure as well. Turned out fantastic. And over here in this toy aisle, they have some die cast cars. You can see uh, quite a few different options and different scales. So maybe one of these would fit your scale. Looks like a bunch would be maybe for S gauge, maybe a couple O gauge ones mixed in there. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. And also in the toy aisle, you can see there are these bunch of these little plastic animals and figures so maybe some of these would work for your scale whatever you're modeling they even have these little ones these were similar to the ones that we saw in the michaels tour i like the i like the little alligator in that one that would be really funny in o-gauge <laughs> pretty neat even farm animals cool and then here's an aisle with all kinds of paints and brushes, which obviously in model railroading you can use a lot of. And there's just a lot of options here. Sponges, if you're trying to do some kind of weathering. Spray bottles, those would come in handy if you're trying to use for, um, using for mixing scenic glue and applying to the layout. I like this size a lot right here. Definitely cool. You can see there's other squeeze bottles up there and things. And then some more paints on this side as well. And then over here, a lot of uh, rollers. The metal rollers come in handy for cutting straight edges if you're using some X-Acto knives. Some different pens and things in this aisle and paint pens and markers as well. Definitely good to have. All right, so over here we have all kind of bags of polyfill. And I used a material similar to this when I made my clouds in my room. I talked about that in the Michaels video. But you can see here, you can also buy smaller bags at Hobby Lobby. And here's my cloud scene in the main room with the LEDs in it. And you can see at night here, it looks just absolutely incredible. Turns out really cool. So that polyfiber comes in handy. Here's some cases you could use for displays. And this baseball bat one here, it's $69.99. And just for reference, there was one at Michael's that was $59.99. And they have almost weekly coupons here, but these have a hinge lid on them. So you can um, store a, a locomotive in there if you really wanted to. Pretty cool idea. All right, in this aisle, you can see there's all kind of wooden pieces and popsicle sticks, detail parts you could use and dowel rods if nice large pieces here as well so definitely good to know that you can get uh, any kind of things here for a scratch building as well all right we're in the jewelry aisle and i wanted to point out these glass beads i showed these also at michael's and i use one similar to this for insulators on my scratch built telephone poles definitely uh come in handy you use those in conjunction with a a black stretchy wire which we'll see if they have here as well here's that same stretchy wire that i use for my telephone poles however at michael's they had a black one here these ones all look clear so you would use the black stretchy wire for your telephone wires and here's the look at the scratch belt telephone poles that i made using the dowel rods 
and the jewelry beads. And I even used some of the dowel rods and popsicle sticks to make my Roberto Clemente bridge. And then over here in this jewelry section, there's like chains and things. And I used chains like this for uh, the boats on my layout. Here you can see there was some chains used by this barge scene as well as hemp string. All right, so in this aisle, there's all kind of foam and um, felt sheets. And you could use the felt sheets for different things, but the foam is similar to the foam that I talked about in the Michaels. It's actually very close. You can see it's called Silly Winks Foam Sheets, and this is like a soft, flexible foam. And this black one would be absolutely perfect for using for roads, and that's how I've been making my roads now on my layout. And you can see they're super cheap. They're only 99 cents. Very flexible. You can do grade crossings with those and they glue down easily. You can cut them easily even with scissors or a sharp hobby, hobby knife. And then you can see there's all different kind of colors. So if you don't like the, the black, you can even go with this gray. This one looks a little darker than the one we saw at Michael's. And there's some other options here as well. So yeah, these are definitely handy. And they even have the thicker white ones. And these are good for creating uh, curbs for sidewalks or bases for your buildings or around your engine house and maintenance facility areas. I like those a lot. Here's a scene I'm working on right now with the black foam used for the roads and it looks great. And then the white thicker foam matches up great to the height of the rails for O-Gage. So over in this section, there's all kind of dollhouse things and accessories and lights and things. You can see there's even lamps. And then I, I just saw these, these are like, look like um, O-Gage lamps. They're battery powered. And there's also little, um, little ones here. They look like they're more so HO scale. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to show, just an option. All right, and here's a foam area. You can see they have foam sheets and foam boards. Um, I'm not so much a fan of using like styrofoam. I would use the pink foam that you can get from like Home Depot. But I just want to show you, you can, can get it here. They have um, foam cutters and hot wire tools as well, and also hot glue guns. So definitely helpful to know that, that they have that in the store. Here's an eye with a bunch of acrylic paints. Tons of stuff in this one you could use as well. All right, so it looks like they have these rolling carts and I use these for scenery carts on my layout. They carry tools and supplies and things. And you can see right now, they're having a nice sale on this section, 40% off. So this is a good time to uh, grab something like that. I like how that one folds, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Here's one of my scenery carts and you can see it will come in really handy when you're working on the layout and you can just wheel it around. 